Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. But I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Okay, this is probably the most haven thing I've seen yet. Kate was too young. Just too young. Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how are you holding up? I guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. Bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't think anything's really gonna change, right? It's hard to say. I've been Typhon eight years of my life, and they can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. I just still can't Might be my... a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. I love being on hold. I love this song. Finally, cancel AAA membership. No, I, I said cancel. Yikes. Cancel. Representative. Yeah, a warning would have been nice. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. I hear he's been having a rough time. 
He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Stay strong. You'll get through the hard parts. Both of you. Easier said than done, huh? Yeah. No shit. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith, but you're right. He's dead because of them and I'd be letting them off. Are you going to sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. Glass pipes are so cool. They're like works of art that can also get you high. It's not betrayal. Still makes me feel sick. Same. But Gabe would understand. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. I really love Charlotte's style. There's something you don't see in Portland. That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I believe it. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. These bougie dispensaries are going to put all the creepy dudes named Jean out of business. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, 
Insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? God, put some clothes on. I could totally paint that. I just don't want to. These are my kind of discounts. A little steep, but can you really put a price on a kid's dreams? Nice contribution, Gabe. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. I have to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Oh. 
Okay. Time to figure out why she's afraid. How does she hide all of this? I feel, I feel broken. broken. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. The doctor said I had more time. I feel, I feel broken. broken. Finds out. She can't find out. The memory is gone. How does she hide all of this? Broken. Broken. The doctor says I had more time.
is the girl? Says I had more time. Had more time. If they know if they about, know my, about condition, my condition, they'll make me close make this me place. Close. Shit. just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. You could focus on something else for a bit and see if it comes back. I suppose. But I can't help feeling like it was something important. Whatever it was. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. Hey, I... I want to help. <laughs> okay, what would Eleanor have done first? You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Ugh. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night.
Did anything happen with Riley? You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake! I... missed it! Sorry. Hey, it's, um... Excuse me. <laughs> okay. That sucked. But at least I told her the truth. That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor.
Okay. Riley is officially a badass. I've definitely lived in uglier places. That poor young man. How did I forget? I hope it's good news. Oh God, they're multiplying. What do you want? You want to make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's. First of all, we got third place. And anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's. Oh, God. Way to take the bait, Rye. You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule. And I would really like to see your robot. If you want to show me. Damn it, Mac. I'm trying really hard to hate you right now. That guy is still bad to the gnome. I should get an emotional support dog, but like, for other people. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? in Moondrop Ranch. Did you buy your chicken coop? No, I couldn't. I spent too much money romancing the lumberjack. I can't believe you think I would like this game. Hide from me forever, Mac. Time to get the truth. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but I can't talk to you.
I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Even Riley? Did something happen with her? Too bad I can't just run away from all this. I don't get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I looked over the budget. If we only open three days a week, we'll be able to scrape by. Is that it? I have to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. We're losing our business. But it's like, everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. Hope they figure it out. How do those words taste? Not like... Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. She pushed the rum raisin on. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Helpful. Another issue of legendary monster hunter Thanor. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. Still going. Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. Listen to Firewalk in a while. I like their old stuff better anyway.
I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Gravius looks pretty badass. Go with that. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was phone tap with their new thing. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music. But maybe at the breakup section, huh? That's rough, buddy. free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Helpful. Wait, Chrissy? She's a dog? just want to be friends. Gabe was hoping I'd get back into playing. Maybe I will. Gabe was hoping I'd get back into playing. Maybe I will. It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan.
Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. How about a throwback to Ethan's old buddy? Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? To remind listeners of the upcoming council vote regarding mining in Haven. Further information is available at Town Hall. It was a dark and stormy night. Do ever just this LARP thing just might work. Sweet, delicious ice cream. If your answer is yes, you are super weird. Please stay home. The rest of us can grab a delicious normal portion frozen treat down at Avalanche Ice Cream, family owned and operated since 1993. Still with us, kind Haven listeners? Good. Your reward is music. The adventures of Thanor are about to get real. It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. <laughs> 